Hey everyone, I'm Jumbo64 here, and today we are finally going to start with the Rumbo Satora Adventure playthrough. Satora Space Adventure. So it turns out, you don't act- you actually don't need to play a Satora in order to play through this. I kind of thought you did, considering the trailers and stuff like that, but... But, eh, I can't be too mad about it. One thing I am kind of mad about, though, is the fact that I had to, uh... What is it? My other save apparently wasn't 100% either, so not only did I not manage to get my... I mean, I got some of the adventure maps back where I had, like, the three stars and everything, but not all of them, and all of them is what matters. Completionist, after all. I also, in the process, lost some of the costumes, so I'll 100% that on my own time. But for now, it's time for Satoru's Space Adventure. Collect the poster pieces. Looks like we gotta travel through another adventure. But I gotta tell you, this is a little bit, like, if you're super accustomed to the older adventure, the classic adventure, then you might be in for a treat because this one is super different. Not difficult, like, not really that difficult, but like. It's very different from what you're accustomed to, with the constant color swapping and everything. Hello? Ah, okay. I have some practice on this stage, because I didn't want to play too much. I do want a little bit of a... ...experience on this, on myself, so... Yeah, I still didn't get to play the Bohemoth yet. I'll get to that, eventually. And of course, instead of three stars, this will be an all rocket playthrough. Because, you know, rockets, as you can see. You guys can see that? Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll shut up now. Again, load times are super quick, so I might not have to worry about uh, editing those like I did with uh, Nitro Kart. Oh, oh, no, no, no. When they start shaking like that, that's when you can tell that they're about to, time's about to run out. Oh, so in case it runs out of time. Oh, it sent me back. Okay, so that's the only reason why I have to worry about that. Alright. Yeah, so I have to unlock all this stuff over again. I might be able to unlock the costumes to play in this adventure though, who knows. Yeah, as if I'm like good at this game, but as you can tell, I'm still bad. Okay, I see what I have to do. Alright. I'm not gonna hit the time, but I know what I have to do, at least. Oh, it's super quick, too. Frick. <laughs> I screwed it all up on that. God dang it. Yeah, next time I'll try like, what is it? All right, don't double jump, don't double jump. Anyway, next time I'll try like putting 
Rumble on like several backups so I don't end up having to worry about accidentally deleting them or having bad saves or something like that. Ah. Oh. Okay. This is a pretty bad showcase in all my end. The monsters are kind of the same, but with a little a diff, with a little bit different on them. Okay. Oh, it keeps the momentum of me not being able to jump again. That's so messed up. Yeah, I am not used to this without practice. Like I said, I want this to be quite the experience myself, but I do want to at least be a little bit good with the game, you know? There's nothing wrong with being a little bit good with a game you're just trying to have fun with. Okay. Gotta be aware of that time. Come on, it's right there! Ah! Okay. This time around, he do have to scatter around the place to get those pieces, so... This will be like last time, but instead it'll be like 20 minutes instead of like 15. You know, just to make sure everything is, uh... Going according to the plan. Alright, so... Whether it's blue or green or purple, excuse me. Not sure if that was supposed to be like a music cue kind of thing, but I'm just guessing. Uh, 27. I gotta remember the times too. Uh, 23, 19. You'd think you'd want to go for the faster one, like if you can get on the first try, but normally those are the ones that are harder, which means if you do an attempt, if you do too many attempts, it might even be actually, uh... <gasps> what? 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 I, I pushed... I pushed down. Maybe I was still, like, in... I, I don't know. Yeah, I know how to work this out now. It does feel like this is based on a music cue, kinda, on your first try. Alright, but this is kinda cool though. Alright, never jump. Okay. Nice. Okay, if I miss the time just because of that. Oh yeah, just right, it was 23. Alright, another 23. Okay, okay. And this is where we can get our second piece. I don't think you have to worry about bosses here. Ah, oh, I forgot, you, you... Yeah, you have to jump on those things after your first jump. And your double jump. Those things are not very forgiving on those hip. I mean, I'm talking about like the enemies themselves, not uh. Come on. The those things are quite uh, forgiving. Oh wow! I I'm not even close to the 23 seconds. I got the piece at least, but. Let's try that again. Yeah, so after three attempts, like, something I wanted to talk about in the adventure mode, but... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> something I forgot to mention in the classic adventure is that after three attempts, not counting this one, not counting like this retry. I will just like cut out some uh you know just for just for the sake of the video. Don't you alright. 
Alright, not bad. Nice. This might be something interesting to try speedrunning. Like, at least trying to beat everything, not like get like all three of the rockets on every one of them, because I can't imagine having to try restarting over and the amount of retries. Then again, that's what you can say about every... What the... Okay... Ah. Alright, so that one is... Now you're running with portals. That one's interesting. Okay, so get on here. So what does the other one belong to? Oh, okay. Interesting. Alright, wait, wait. This is really cool. That is actually really cool though. I'm loving the level design that they put into this. Like, I'm too old for the- Oh my freaking god! <laughs> Come on guys! Oh, you can't just be throwing stuff out like that. I mean, like, I if you get what that was supposed to originally mean. Oh, and the lasers move too! And you can stand on them. Cool. Makes everything a lot easier. And you have gravity on your side too. I really like the space concept of this. Like with the mi like mixing color and a space concept. I will, I will I would hawk the crap out of whoever thought of this. You know, assuming it isn't everyone who thought of it. Like, you think something like this, that is considered a, co a tired concept nowadays? Oh boy. Now we got space meteors, or... Either these are meteors or mines. These look more like mines, if you ask me. Either way, they symbolize death, of course, so it's best not to touch them. <laughs> Okay, so there's space walls. Okay. Clearly not a reference to anything. No, I mean seriously, it's not a reference to anything. Like, not everything needs to have a reference, you know? Okay. Ooh, just hit the ledge. Is there a pattern to this, or...? Well, the only pattern is I'm dead. <laughs> That's the only pattern right there. Uh, touch the thing. I'm dead. Okay, nice. I wonder if you could reverse hit those. Probably not. So yeah, sorry I couldn't show off Sotora in this playthrough. But, I didn't realize that- Ugh, okay. I thought, oh yeah, I gotta remember you can't grab ledges. It wasn't, I wasn't going for grabbing a ledge either. I thought I actually went just beyond that ledge. I guess it's only the ones that have colors on them. Because I remember talking about this at 13 a.m. When it comes to the design of this. But these actually look pretty freaking surreal if you ask me. And by surreal, I mean absolutely freaking creepy and I love it. Like, touch any one of these and I, most of the times I usually think these are like mines, but if you touch a single one of these, you're dead. I don't think I made the time either. 42 seconds? I gotta stop underestimating myself. 25 seconds, let's go. Alright, we hit the 15 minute mark. At least that's the time of this recording. I'm not gonna edit like load times or anything like that, like I used to. 
The sound effect on these mines just sound pretty cool too. I'm not sure if these are mines or not, so I'm gonna keep calling them that. Oh, <laughs> I, uh, I got swept by that. By that space ball. I'm just gonna stick with space ball. It sounds cooler. How about you guys? What do you guys think? Okay. Excuse me, game. I thought you only had to do one jump with the stuff. Like a well-timed one, too. But I gotta remember- Oh, okay, I see the thing. You're heavy as crap with your jumps. Yeah, now I see it. It all makes sense now. Okay, so I gotta watch out for the last one. Alright, nice. Okay, uh, we're pretty much at nearly the same with trying to get to that piece and the other one on the very opposite side. So why not? Let's keep going with it. By the way, I don't think I- did I mention the soundtrack by any chance? I like the soundtrack of the new space themes and everything. Oh, that's not fair. I know I can get back in that, but... Oh, Groovytron. I thought it was Gravitron. Nice. As mentioned before, you can... Uh, what is it? Do a stomp on these things to lower your gravity. So you don't have to worry too much about the... Oh, no. Oh, no. And as you can tell, purple... Well, Negate both of effects, so come on. No, it wasn't too hard or anything, it was just like I got caught in it. Alright, third attempt. Fail this, and you already know. Okay. I've re like, I can't stop saying how much I like this because, like, the newly made design to this. Oh, wait, I got an idea. There we go. Uh, I mean, it w it didn't hurt to try, and it was working. It's just that I forgot to. It's just that I didn't get under fast enough. All right, let's try this again. Alright, shoo, that was difficult. 28 seconds, let's do this. Wait, what? Okay, let me see if I understand this. If it's a lighter color... Alright, let me see if I can... Okay, I got it. It's basically... Reflecting the color, duh. All right, so I'm gonna have to, I'm definitely gonna have to retry. Well, I mean, I said I was gonna retry anyway, so why not? All right, let's see. Collectible in space. Ah, okay. I wonder if it's gonna be the same pattern too, so let's see. It's gonna be red. Then it's gonna be yellow. Yep. Got it all figured out now. Wasn't it 28 seconds though? Yep. Looks like I gotta do a little bit faster than that. 
But I mean, I got the pattern down at least, that's what matters. Oh no! Frick! Ah! Alright, restart. I just restart that. That. Okay, so it starts at purple. There we go. I there was honestly no way I couldn't have screwed that up without touching like the purple and the yellow screens like pit because the other ones I could just jump up and get just fine. Wait, is this a scrolling section? God freaking dang it. I hate calling it, but hey. Okay. Yellow real quick. Go to red. Then go to purple. And then back to red. Oh! <laughs> that was not it. <laughs> oh gee, thanks, game. I had no idea that wasn't the right way to go. Then again, I did say I was trying to go there, so it was kind of my fault to begin with. So, <gasps> okay. Uh... What? <sighs> yeah, it's kind of hard to pay attention. Let me see if I can get the color of the portals down. Okay, so the ones with the circular light is the one we go out of, and these are the ones we go in. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. It does have like a little bit of a effect to it. Alright, don't freak out. And no freak accidents will happen if I stay with the path. There we go. 30 seconds and we got our third piece. Alright, so we kind of ran out of time there and we did kind of overextend, so sorry about that. But hey, first part, that uh, kind of happens. And on top of that, I am including the cutscene. So, this is Chrono 64, so I thank you guys for watching. And in the next part, we'll take care of more of these levels. And what place is this called? There's no name for this place. Like, the whole thing in general. So, I guess more Satoru Space Adventure. So, yeah. See you.